what am, why am I here? Hi. Oh, there's a B train. Hey, girl. How are you? How are you? Good. No. No. Oh. <laughs> what? Dopey over here was very. Oh my God. Hi. She, she heard the doorbell of the Zoom and she was like, Oh my God. Who that? So I've been with, I'm an area manager, independent consultant with Arbonne, and I've been with the company and the organization for about three years. I found it at a birthday party. So there was a sparkle unicorn by the name of Christy Card, who like, you just look at her, you're like, oh, you're like a fairy. You belong in a Disney movie. <laughs> well, like, she's awesome. She's the sweetest human. And we were just chatting about life. And um, she made a comment about she can't have something at the, on the grill. So I was like, oh, what are you? You lactard, you vegan, what are you? Like, <laughs> Because I have so many friends, I have so many, I'm used to cooking for every form of dietary restriction. So I'm like, all right, what are you? And uh, she said that she's lactose intolerant and gluten intolerant. So I was like, oh, you're not just being a jerk about it. Like you would literally shit your pants if you had those things. Because we all have the friends where it's like, oh, I don't eat this. Like, because you're, you don't want, like, if you don't want to, and that's okay if you don't want to. But like, because she actually said intolerant, I was all, oh, your belly gets mad at you. Like, legit mad at you so um we got to chatting about she she did arbonne and i thought arbonne was just makeup and i was like that's cute you do makeup girl she's like no we have skincare and nutrition you can probably like our nutrition line i see that you're an athlete at the same time like let's talk about skincare and i told her yes because i went non-gmo at home for my mouth like I, everything i changed for my guts like i just finally needed to like make that switch and then um, I was like, I'm going to buy all my skincare from you. And she's like, you're going to join my team. I'm like, no way, Jose. I have Wicked Skinwear. I have my own thing. I can't. I can't. And um, she invited me to a Mercedes-Benz presentation. So in Arbon, once you build a really cool team, they're just like, hey, thanks for coming out. We love you. Have a Mercedes. So I was sitting there during this presentation. This woman by the name of Tori Brandt was talking about how she opened by saying, I promised myself I wouldn't swear today. I'm like, hello. How are you? <laughs> like, okay, we're at a corporate office and you just told yourself you wouldn't swear today. I'm like, I got my, I'm listening. <laughs> so she talked about her journey and her life. And I'm like, I'm in. To myself, I said this because Sparkle Unicorn Pants would have lost her mind. And it wasn't, it was that week where I basically put it out there. I'm like, I'm going to do Arbonne. I don't know what it looks like. I don't know how you guys fit with my life. I don't know. I don't know how. And then I basically uh, sold my shares to my company. Like, I love Arbonne. So I found it for the products because it fits with my lifestyle. Like, everything is, again, I'm not a vegan. At the same time, all the products are plant-based. There's no weird, yucky byproducts in there. So I don't have to worry about, like, dead animal carcasses and really weird things, like, going into my eyeballs when I'm washing my face or, you know, using shampoo. Um, and then there's no thing called, like, petrolatum or gasoline that goes into, or, like, it helps basically, like, makes the product slide onto your skin. So we don't use any of those yucky things, which is really nice because I've noticed a change in my gut. I've noticed a change in my skin. Um, I use all their makeup and I just feel comfortable where I don't have to like read their labels because I know that they have an entire, like the research and development team, our corporate execs are awesome. Obviously I'm biased at the same time. Like I'm happy. And I don't say that often. Like I'm really happy with the organization and every, there's a few things that I don't like to eat like the seven day cleanse I think is disgusting but like I know it serves a purpose I don't like berry flavors it's berry flavored it's gross really I should be a chef <laughs> the recipe is from Yumly for meal prep it's I fry up some garlic I usually burn it because I'm like doing 70 other things I'm like oh yeah that so I grab and because it's also like the fall season so it's, this is seasonal 
So I'll grab a butternut squash, I'll cut it in half, not cut off my fingers, and then I'll throw it in the oven at like 350, 400, I don't know. Like I'll sometimes, if I remember, I'll put on some like salt, pepper, olive oil, and then like uh, some cinnamon. Cook it until it's soft, which could be anywhere from like 30 minutes to an hour, depending like the size of the butternut squash. And then while that's cooking, I'll make some quinoa, I'll grab a bag of kale or some bunch of kale, and I'll put that in with the garlic. Uh, I dump in the kale and then I grab a thing, a, ch- a can of chickpeas. They call for a pomegranate. At the same time, I've just gotten so tired of picking the pomegranates apart that I just grabbed a pear for this round. Squeeze something citrus in there. I don't care if it's lemon, orange, or a grapefruit. And then dump the quinoa into that thing. And once the butternut squash is done, I chop that up, uh, scoop it out, chop it up. Oh, my dogs love butternut squash, like the peel. Like I eat the insides and the dogs eat the outsides. That's technically vegan. If you use uh, vegetable broth to make the quinoa, 